for those of you new to the course, you'll find that blogging is at the heart of pretty much everything we do online. So here's a quick 101 for anyone who's never engaged before, just showing you the mechanics of how to engage and a few tips and tricks. So uh, what we're looking for in the blogs is a little red area on the screen. So we start here with uh, the introductory information as you would expect each week. Uh, but then scrolling down a little bit, we should be able to find a point at which you can engage and add your opinion. And here it is just on the horizon. We can see there, it's called Curtain Up. So these can normally be identified because they'll be a different color. In this case, they're uh, a light red and they'll tend to have a background as well to the main information. So here, this one's pink. Uh, what you need to do is really read through this information first to learn exactly what it is you need to do. And at that point, when you're ready, it's just a matter of clicking the title. So uh, in this case, it's just curtain up. And if I click that once, I can then engage with the blog. So as you can see, this is the uh, blog entry screen, which should repeat a lot of the information before, just in case you've forgotten it. And all you need to do to uh, engage is click the create blog entry button, just at the top left there. So I'll just do that now. Again, one single click and that will take us to the blog entry screen where we can actually start to add our words. What you need to do each time is add a title, so I'll just do that now, and that's finished that bit, and then you just need to move your cursor to the entry area. And what you can do here is enter text, and there's a whole variety of formatting options as well, so you can make things bold, you can italicize, you can even underline if you like. There's also a uh, change of fonts if you wish to go down that road. You can change the size. You can even change the color. So there's a whole host of options to explore here. What you can also do if you really want to is add extra bits of information. So as you see here, if we go have a little paper clip, you can insert a file if you've got a rich text document or a word file that you want to add rather than typing in directly. Or you can add an image if that's something that will uh, embellish what you've done. And there's a range of other options as well, so uh, you can look at the mashups there, and even go as far as adding a YouTube video, which will bring up a little link. So that's the basics of the text information area, and once you're done, all you need to do is make sure that you click the post entry button right at the bottom right there. So I'll just do that now. And there we go, as you can see, my introductory information there, the text one, has appeared right below the uh, information for the introduction. And what will happen is the blog will build new entries, including the latest one at the very top, so we can all see what was the latest information added to a particular blog. What you should also take note of is the comment button at the bottom right of each entry. And if you just click that once, that will open up a, a simplified dialog box where you can add comments to other people's work. This is really crucial because what we're wanting to do is to get you to talk to other students and engage in dialogue with the tutor as well. So if there's something you see, if you have thoughts upon, do be sure to add a comment, as I have done here. And just make sure you add that using the button at the bottom right. As you can see now, that's registered as now one comment for people to see. So that's your basic introduction to blogs. If you've got any problems, just drop the center line and we'll try and help you out.